Hey guys, it's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. I'm still working on my John Deere LA-105. I've been having some charging problems and uh, it just doesn't seem to be charging, you know? Uh, it's been driving me absolutely crazy because I'm the kind of guy that uh, has to have everything running right, otherwise I don't feel good. And I won't rest until it's done, you know what I mean? Uh, I know you guys know what I mean. Uh, anyhow, I just couldn't figure out. I, I mean, I was just, you know, scouring the interwebs and stuff and checking out every diagram, schematic, electrical, whatever. And I understand that, you know, this tractor had a, uh, the original engine, I think, was a, um, was a Briggs & Stratton 19.5 uh, engine. Obviously, it has different amperage for the stator. Um, whether it be a 15 amp or a 16 amp, I don't know. There could be diodes inside that wiring harness that doesn't match with this Kohler 12.5 command. So adapting an engine that wasn't meant to be gravity-fed fuel, uh, maybe wasn't uh, doesn't have as, as enough horsepower as it's designed to have. So instead of 17 or 19.5, it's 12.5, right? So things could be different. So the only thing I could think of was that maybe the stator was busted, right? So I took off the flywheel just now. It actually was pretty easy. Um, it's, a, it's got a half inch bolt on it as opposed to the usual 15 16 nut, you know what I mean? So it actually made it pretty easy. Um, whether it's as sturdy as the others, I don't know. But anyway, I think I found out the problem to why it wasn't charging. How about that? All the magnets have been off of it. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of six magnets have come off the flywheel and are now stuck to this thing. So that's why it wasn't charging. I was amazed that it was at least getting 25 volts, you know, AC coming out of it. So it's an absolute miracle it even worked at all, you know? It wasn't generating, it wasn't spinning nothing, you know? Amazing. Magnets, look. They're just stuck on here. Five out of six. I'm amazed it worked at all. But, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the reason why it wasn't uh, charging. What do you guys think? So now I'm thinking, okay, should I a get a new stator and get a new flywheel with the magnets on it or clean this up glue the magnets back on right clean up the stator not spend any money and uh, see what happens I think I'm gonna go for B not spend any money. Um, I'm gonna go and see how to clean this up properly. I know that uh, Tarol Dactyl at Tarol Fixes All has a couple of good videos on how to clean up magnets and glue them back. So I've uh, matched up where the magnets were and I've removed one at a time and putting it back onto that uh, flywheel. Um, it's just stuck on there right now, mag magnetized, it's loose. So I need to find a way to clean that up and glue it. I need to find out whether or not silicone would be good to glue it or what's a good idea to, uh, how to glue it properly so it won't come off, you know? Uh, so I'll figure that out in a bit. And in the meantime, I'm over here at the stator and i um, looking at the contacts and uh, you know, it's pretty rusted. So I'm going to use this uh, wired bristle brush here. I'm going to just go over it. You know, gently, like that. Every one of them. I have to be careful not to break the coils because once you break a coil, you're D-U-N. Or I could use this and be very careful. Much better. I might use this and clean that stuff off.
seems to work pretty well. I'm gonna go find out what kind of glue I need to use. So I just went inside and uh, watched some Terrell Dactyl videos, you know, Terrell fixes all. Video credit. Uh, and he told me exactly how to do it. He had a, a V-twin Kohler command and it was the same exact problem. Um, like this. Put some pressure on that flywheel and then whack it in the middle. There you go. There's your dinner. You ain't got to take these coils off. Yep, looky there. Looky there. See? Them magnets done come off. That's why this thing ain't putting out no juice. It ain't percolating like it should be. Now I'm going to show you how to take them magnets and glue them back inside here and this thing's going to work again. We're going to show you that on next step. Okay. What you need, what you're gonna need to do this, you're gonna need some quick weld, some quick weld adhesive, JV weld, that's what we use, that works good, that's good stuff, JV weld. That's almost like welding. So as you saw, he had exactly the same problem I did. Um, and I, of course, uh, used the crowbar and the hammer to get this flywheel off and work just like he said. Works all the time, you know? So he told me that, uh, well he didn't tell me, but he told everybody, that the best way to do it is he uses JB Weld to get these magnets back on there. Well, I don't have any JB Weld, but I do have some silicone. This adhesive is very strong, you know, that's why they use them for gaskets and stuff. And I've used uh, silicone pretty much my whole life, and uh, sometimes you can't even get this off if you wanted to. I wonder if I could use this. Now you don't have to use JV Weld, if you got something, another kind of adhesive that you think is better, then you just go ahead and use it, but I use JV Weld. So I just spent some time cleaning out all the magnets, did them one at a time so I don't put them out of order, took them off in order too from where it was, look how clean they, they are now man, so I'm just going to silicone each of them on here and that ought to do it I know that Tyrell told me that there's spacing inside but uh, I can see where it went you know what I mean originally there we go I've cleaned up all the magnets used my compressor and blew out all the rust in there the dust and I did a coating of um, black RTV silicone underneath there. It's holding up nicely. I've even uh, made sure that the spacing is even between the two. You can't really screw it up because if you do too much on one side it's noticeable, you know. So I'm gonna wait this, uh, wait a little while for this to cure and put the flywheel back and uh, I don't know, I have pretty good confidence that this will now work, you know, because uh, Magnets will be generating some spark there for the uh, stator. If it doesn't work, I really couldn't tell you what else I could do, you know? So it's been a couple of hours. I've let the uh, silicone cure. Things seem to be nice and tight. Uh, I'm going to replace the flywheel back onto the engine again. I've replaced my woodruff key, that's your keyway for the crankshaft. But I'm not going to start it. I'm just going to put everything back. I want it to cure overnight before I start it. Place the flywheel back on here, making sure that the woodruff key is lined up with the uh, notch. I've got my bolt. I'm going to use my impact and push it down. Bolted that back on and look at that. Perfect. 
you know you have it wrong if it rubs on your magneto. Now, traditionally, you would take off the magneto before you took the flywheel off. For me, though, I'll take it off, and if I put it back on and it doesn't match, then I'll recalibrate that magneto. But this proves to me that it's placed on right, because even after moving that around, it's still perfect on the magneto, and it doesn't rub. So it's barely on, it's barely, uh, it, in other words, it's as close to the magnet as you can get it without it touching. It's usually 10 thousandths with a feeler gauge, or a uh, standard business card is about that. So that's good. Uh, this is on there tight. I'm gonna put the cowling and the top cover on, and uh, I'm gonna let it cure for a few hours before I start it because the worst thing that could happen is if I didn't let the uh, silicone cure well enough. Um, I mean, usually it's like um, a couple hours and it's pretty hard, but I want it to be like five to 10 hours, you know what I'm saying? So that it's definitely cured strong. Uh, worst thing that could happen is I start the engine without letting it fully cure and the magnets come off and this flywheel completely disintegrates every magnet and blows my um, stator too, you know? So that would be a catastrophic, that would be catastrophic damage. So I'm gonna put the covers on now. Put the cover on, I'm gonna put on the bolts. Whoever decided to put the uh, dipstick thing behind the uh, muffler is a complete retard. How about that, huh? Right there behind the dipstick. Cletus, you dipstick! Cletus, you know what you are? You're a dipstick! A 14 carat dipstick! You know what? I can't stand it. I have to try and see if it works. I'm taking a risk, but here we go. Well, that's super discouraging. I don't see any difference at all. You can't win them all. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. I think maybe the stator might be busted, or maybe the magnet. Will